In this video, we will be showing you how to use several basic but important functions on the oscilloscope that are often overlooked or not fully understood during early lab courses. We will be covering edge triggering, averaging, XY mode, and save and recall. Sometimes when a change is made to your circuit that affects the amplitude or offset of your waveform, the display becomes unstable. Notice how the wave appears to be moving across the screen. Your first instinct may be to hit the auto scale button, but this is unnecessary. This instability happens because the wave is not triggering correctly. In order to use edge triggering on the oscilloscope, first make sure the edge button is lit up in the green trigger section of the control panel. Be sure to select the waveform you want to trigger on. Adjust the level knob in the trigger controls. You will see a horizontal line moving vertically on the display. This is the threshold voltage. Once triggered, the oscilloscope will center the waveform at approximately the zero seconds marker. The trigger is currently set up for the rising edge. Notice that at zero seconds, the waveform is rising above the threshold voltage. The slope at the intersection of the threshold voltage and zero seconds is positive. You can easily change between rising and falling edge while still in the edge trigger menu. Now that we've changed it to falling edge, Notice that the slope at the intersection of the threshold voltage and zero seconds is now negative. It should be obvious now to you that you can only trigger your wave between the minimum and maximum voltages of your waveform. Notice that if you move the threshold voltage to one of your extreme values, the wave starts to become unstable when the slope at the intersection is not clearly positive or negative. If you move this level beyond the extreme values, the waveform becomes completely unstable as the waveform never crosses the threshold voltage. Sometimes the signal you display isn't as clear as you'd like it. As you can see, this waveform contains a lot of noise. It would be rather difficult to take measurements of this wave using cursors or quick measures features. The oscilloscope has a built-in feature that can remove this noise from your signal. It does this by averaging a specified number of previous waveforms. The noise will be eliminated in the average. To turn on the averaging feature, first press the Acquire button in the Waveform section of the control panel. Then select the averaging option. You can then select how many samples you want to find the average by using the number of averages option and turning the knob labeled with a circular arrow. In this example, 8 averages eliminates our noise, but additional averages may be necessary in other cases. As you add additional averages, it'll take longer for the signal to adjust to changes in your signal. Notice how slow the signal adjusts to changes in amplitude when we're taking 512 averages. But at just 8 averages, the signal still responds quickly. In your experiments, it may be useful to plot one time varying signal as a function of another. This can be achieved by using the oscilloscope's XY mode. The signal that represents the x-axis should be plugged into channel 1, and the signal representing the y-axis should be plugged into channel 2. To put the oscilloscope into XY mode, first press the main delayed button in the horizontal section of the control panel. Then select the XY option. XY mode displays a single plot by taking a value from each channel at each point in time. The value of channel 1 is the x value, and the value of channel 2 is the y value. In this example, because channel 1 and 2 were sinusoids that were 90 degrees out of phase, the corresponding XY plot is an ellipse. Remember that the scaling controls will now function differently. The horizontal scaling knob will not affect the display. To scale the X-axis, adjust the vertical scaling knob for channel 1. And to scale the Y-axis, adjust the vertical scaling knob for channel 2. The following animation should give you a good idea of how the XY mode creates a plot. Watch where the dots are on the sinusoids and notice how they are plotted on the XY plane. Some lab experiments will require you to make small variations to a signal multiple times and then take scope images of each waveform. The oscilloscope has a save and recall feature that allows you to easily show many signals on one display. In this example, we will make four waveforms with different amplitudes. Once the first wave is adjusted to your liking, you need to save it. 
First hit the Save Recall button in the File section of the Control Panel. Then hit the Save option. Make a mental note of which file you are saving to. In this example, we are saving to Intern 0. Then select the Press the Save option. Now adjust your signal and recall the previous one by again pressing Save Recall button and press the Recall option. Make sure the same memory unit you saved to is selected. Select the Press the Recall option. You can repeat this procedure for multiple waveforms. This feature has the obvious advantage of allowing us to observe multiple waveforms at once on the same image. This feature does have a disadvantage in the fact that the recall waves are very faint compared to the current waveform. To clear the recalled waves, press the Save Recall button and select the Recall option. Then select the Clear Display option. Keep in mind that each time you save the display, it saves everything on the screen, including the recalled waves. Thus, if we recall our last save, all the images will reappear. Yay! Yay! <laughs>